the only way to survive a mad world is to embrace the madness. Hi, it's Sarah, and I'll give you 10 seconds to guess what this video is about. Okay, that's enough. I'm coming in. Hi, everyone. So, this is my channel, The Sarah Experience. Today, we are talking about, well, you guessed, The Walking Dead, the one and only, but let me just change the background. Alright, that's better. So look who's my, look who's behind me. Uh-huh, the one and only Nika. Wait a minute, this is not just a video about The Walking Dead, it's actually a video about zombie shows that I promised you to make a year ago and I never did it. So here we are talking about zombie shows. Now we can talk about The Walking Dead, can't we? Right? Okay, so let's start from the beginning. I started watching The Walking Dead like two, more so three years ago and I was really by it I really liked it because you know I'm a huge fan of Z's so you know Z's The Walking Dead basic so I really liked first seasons like one two three uh, when there was the govern governor whatever it's called I started to like mm, what the heck he's so boring but I pulled through now let's get to the real point he started losing. He started losing it after a while. Season six loved. Season seven, yeah. What, what the heck? Season eight, okay. It was the. It was a lot, okay. I don't even remember what all the seasons were about, but I know one thing. The Walking Dead is the only show uh, which made me go through a long phases of emotion against a character. So first, I was neutral. Then I disliked. The character then the hate came then I started to appreciate to understand his decisions and after that guess what came love what am I talking about do you think it's Negan no it's not I loved him from the first second I saw him I'm talking about the one and only Rick Grimes when he got um, like arrested by the crew so I mean I loved Negan I was living for him but then he like become crazy he lost the battle so I turned into Rick and I was right because Negan really started to lose it and it wasn't just the gray man that you saw in season six and seven maybe eight I don't remember anyways I did one thing where Rick went away and I'll tell you right now right now what happened I stopped watching The Walking Dead you hear you heard me I stopped watching it because it was just so boring there was no point and after the six year escape you couldn't understand anything at least I couldn't I couldn't understand a freaking thing what happened with the scars with these freaking whispers whatever where is everyone where's Maggie what the freaking heck happened I just didn't know it and I honestly didn't want to know it so I just stopped I stopped and we're ready absolutely not even because 
I heard, I mean, it's official, that there are going to be three, yeah, you heard me, three films about Rick Grimes, and they're coming out at the movie theater. So, you know what? If it's Rick, it's a film, and it's on the big screen, I'm up for it. Oh, enough of The Walking Dead, now let's talk about something else which is strictly connected to it. Fear The Walking Dead. I started watching Fear the Walking Dead like, I think two years ago or three, no, uh, two years ago. I started watching it and I fell in love with it because the first two episodes were just bomb. They were great, they were thrilling, I was honestly scared, I was honestly scared, the disease were on point, the storyline, the beginning of the apocalypse, that was great. Then it started making no freaking sense. Season two, okay. Season three, what the heck? The fact that after every season ends, the first episode of the new season starts from a total different point in a timeline and also place, place-wise, and you just don't understand what happened in between. Like, what the fuck? And they don't even care to tell you. They're like, whatever. They always find each other and they always find each other. They live, they die. We don't care, so you shouldn't care. I don't know, I just... I just don't like it. Uh, I stopped after season three. Yeah, I liked Troy. Wait, spoiler alert again. There was this character, Troy, um, played from the actor... Oh my gosh, I don't know his name. Anyway, the actor that played Isaac in Teen Wolf and Lorenzo de Medici in Medici. That actor, I love him, absolutely. He was a psycho in Fear the Walking Dead, but who cares, I love him. So I stuck up for it, and guess what? Spoiler alert again, he died. In a really bad way. And I don't know, it was just weird. He had a, this weird relationship with Madison. Well, instead I wanted him to be with, with Alicia. But she was with Jake, Jake died. A lot of shit happened. Either way, I stopped watching that too after season 3. Now, season 4, there's Morgan. I hate Morgan so bad. I just can't stand him. So, I mean, there's Morgan. Everyone else died, so why should I watch it? In fact, I don't. The second last TV show I'm talking about is Z Nation. Z Nation is a great show about Z's and apocalypse and it's just fun, not scary, just fun and no sense and something that you want to watch to chill out if you're a Z fan, obviously. If you're not, well, you may be scared, maybe not, it depends on you. But still, it's a great show, I loved it, I loved every season. Murphy is my favorite character, I mean, it's my favorite character after season 4. But first, there was Tanke. Tanke. Oh my god, I was so in love with him that I started writing F and fiction about him. But we took him about that. Guess what? In another video. There was Mac. There was Eddie. And with her, with her bed, which is so much cooler than Negan's. But no one has ever talked about it. I mean, look at this Negan's bed against Eddie's bed. Which one is the best for you? What do you think? Leave a comment down below and see which show do you prefer. Enough of that. Let's go on. So, great characters about Z Nation. I have nothing much to say. Apart from that, like in Fear the Walking Dead, after a season ends, they hardly ever explain what happened in between the seasons. You just find them once they are in like Florida and the season after they are in California you don't know what happened in between but it's a great show um, you can tell the season 5 is different also apart from the fact that it's the last one it's different they don't uh, I feel like the showrunner or something changed because it's not like the previous seasons in which um, each and every episode was almost uh, almost set apart from the other ones. 
in this season you get back from the point you left and it was really great at the beginning but then it started becoming boring like boring i have like two three four episodes left i don't even know but it's become that boring that i don't even want to waste my time and watch it yeah this video looks like i'm basically turning down every single tv show that i watch but it's not that i just want to like share my thoughts i hope i'm not too rough on this but like i said i love c nation and the intro and all the crazy situation they are just bomb they're great and connected to that there is one last z show actually there is one more uh, there is um there is another show connected to z nation and that is black summer now i haven't seen black summer because it looks totally different from z nation it looks serious so i don't want to get into that if i'm not feeling it but i'll definitely see it i'll leave you like a quick trailer right now they don't know what the hell is going on they don't have a plan for us Is there anywhere that's safe? I know that Z show that I watched, and this is like a bonus track from this video. It's called, I don't even know, like Big Something. I don't remember it's called, but I'll leave you the name right here. And it's a Z show, like 10 episodes, I think. Um, based on the big brother in the UK so um, we're, we're following the big brother uh, big brother like live show at night and apocalypse is coming in the house and they're like okay great that is a great show no biggie no anything that's just good and it's short and we're in town like me where big brother is really is really like famous and important it was a must. I don't remember any other Z show. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe, and turn the bell notification on to to be updated on every video that I post. And without further ado, I think that for this experience, it's all. See you next time. Bye. Oh, earlier I forgot to say that as a huge fan that I am about Z's stuff i want to show you the proof so on top right here we have the man negan let me just show you better this is my man negan he's always there and eeny meeny money moo catch the tiger vibes too or something like that that's negan here's a close up of the on that open inside door like famous door from season one episode one of the walking dead moving on next up we have a fear the walking dead calendar i actually had it in 2017 and this was the first page right here instead we have the nick and alicia the only way to survive the mad world is to embrace the madness like here there is nick here there is the first Z you see in the show Oh right there I have a Z Nation thing that I made with my own hands And then we have this guy which I never remember the name Here it is Here there are Madison and Travis So as you can see I'm a huge Z fan